Can we get a woot woot from the audience? Woo! Yeah. Woo! We love Sarah. Woo! <laughs> Hi, my name is Sarah McLean, and I am going to be presenting on the field of education. Uh, there are so many factors to a pre person's development, family, friends, neighborhood, uh, schools, and teachers. I think we often underestimate how um, important teachers are into a child's growth and development. Um, when we think about teachers, I feel like we often think that they just like go into a classroom, open up a book, and just start teaching all the information from the book without actually knowing it and understanding it and I used to think that too so I can attest to that but as I grew up and as I um, saw my teachers more clearly I realized how how um, much they love teaching how dedicated they are to it and it inspired me to want to become a teacher um, teachers are much more than just a poster child for a school but influencers and models for their students and they have the ability to change their students lives and their futures for the better. Um, so teaching is not easy. First of all, teachers have so many have to have so many talents, so many jobs, so many characteristics, such as the ability to build relationships with their students, which is so important because if you don't have a relationship with your student and you don't build that trust, they aren't gonna be they aren't gonna trust that you know what you're saying or that um, you are I don't know smart enough to be throwing out this information. And um, they also need to be patient, kind, and caring, and they need to have a dedication to teaching. And they need to understand that um, that kids have many different ways of learning. Um, for example, um, Howard Gardner, in 1983, he started, he um, came up with this theory about the multiple intelligences, which is like a bunch of different ways that students learn. Um, so me personally, I'm a bodily kinesthetic learner, which means that I like to do hands-on things, and I, so I work better when I'm able to um, do what I'm learning, and I'm also a visual learner, so when I see people demonstrating um, what I'm learning, like a lab or something, if I see them do it, I'll be able to like replicate what they're doing. So, um, but on top of all, like teachers, this is so important for teachers to know the different ways that students learn because um, they need to be able to incorporate all those different types of strategies into their curriculum so that students who learn by musical, like by music, they can sing a song about what they're learning or like teachers, I mean students who learn by hearing things, they can have a lecture or something like that. Um, on top of all this, um, teaching is a thankless job and students are on, like they under, they under they're underappreciated and they um, go teachers go often unnoticed and they just people just think that they they're just there to teach their kids they don't actually think of how much they impact their kids um, not only do te not only are teachers um, is teaching so hard but like people often underestimate how influential teachers can be um, not only in the present time but like in the, in the child's future. Um, a study conducted by three economists, Raj Chetty, John E. Rokoff, and John N. Friedman followed um, 2.5 million students over a 20 year period from fourth grade up until adulthood. And um, the study found that high value added teachers were more likely to produce higher scores, but when, like, t when schools lost their high value added, higher value added teachers, um, the scores plummeted. And it also found that students are more likely to go, call it, go to college and earn more money and live in nicer neighborhoods if they have high value added teachers. Um, another example is um, in a book written by David Sousa and Carol Ann Tomlinson called Differentiation in the Brain. Um, David, the author, um, explains how he had a student who was um, struggling a lot in his school and he thought that he wasn't going to be able to go to college. but by David mentoring him and encouraging him, he was able to not only graduate from high school, but he graduated from the U.S. Air Force Academy and went to Desert Storm and eventually wrote a letter to David saying how appreciative he was of how much he encouraged him. Um, as you can see, that these facts show why teachers are so important from like a normal perspective, but what we really, we as Christians need to see, need to know is what the Bible says about teaching from a bit like what the Bible says about teaching um, so how can a teacher be an example of an effective ed and an effective educator from a biblical perspective um, Titus 2 7 through 8 says um, in, 
In everything, set an example by doing what is good. In your teaching, show integrity, seriousness, and soundness of speech that cannot be condemned, so that those who oppose you may be ashamed, because they have nothing bad to say about us. So I guess this sort of goes to show um, the same thing that I said earlier about integrity and how teachers need to have integrity and uh, so that students can trust them. Because if, if they don't trust their teacher, as I said before, they're not going to trust that their information is correct. And um, also, if um, they have sounds of speech, they won't be able to, um, no one can question what they're saying. And no one can question their character. And that means that they'll be able to um, continue to teach effectively and change the lives of students. Um, how, what are some qualities of a good teacher? Um, Psalm 127, 3 says, Children are heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from Him. So this might not sound like it relates, but um, it, what I'm thinking of is how I think that since this verse shows how much like children are precious to the Lord, so I think that as teachers we need to we need to use that. We need to like value how much the Lord values kids so that we can, um, I don't know, because, like, valuing every kid the same and, like, knowing that every kid is special in the same way is, um, well, maybe not in the same way, but every kid is special. Um, so it helps you to be able to um, treat them the same way and to be fair in the way that you treat your students, I guess. Um, and that will make them more likely to want to learn because they're be they're just as special as someone who may not be as smart, who may be smarter than them, but um, or may not be smarter than them. So pretty much, yeah. And um, so pretty much, often teachers are underestimated, underappreciated, and overlooked. But teachers have so much weight on their shoulders to develop students and to um, shape them to be the best they can be. And the Bible supports this value of teaching and leading children who are so precious to Him. And valuing these things will allow teachers to um, be successful in training up their students and um, allow the kids to be successful in their futures as well. So, thank you. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs>